How's it going, guys? I have another case here for you guys. This is the Xperia Z3 Cruiser Light case. Uh, this is their green one. Um, not Android green, just green. I forget what it's called precisely, um, but it just says green. But I know they had a color name on the top. Um, just like their other cases, shock absorbent, TPU, sleek. Oh, they have all the cutouts. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put it on the device and show you guys how it looks. Um, see this for the Z3 International model. Um, the T-Mobile variant, it, it all fits. They all have the same size, so that's really nice that Sony decided to do that and they didn't change anything. If you get the Verizon Z3V, it won't fit. The Z3V is a little bit taller and a little bit narrower, so that's the main difference. But this will, for the Z3, the normal one, it'll fit for all their devices. Go ahead and put this in. Button side first. All the cutouts are um, done here. This is their power button. Uh, the volume up, volume down, camera shutter. Um, I didn't know why don't they didn't cut out the um, their micro SD memory card since it's a port, but I guess it would degrade the protection to it just because so many holes. Um, it won't make it as protective. That's my guess, but who knows? Um, no cutouts on the bottom because the the charging port is here on the side. Um, they have the lanyard cutout here. Like I said, lanyard cutout. Um, their pogo pins. Um, I have a one of the Magnector connector cases, and it fits in this, um, just because it's wide enough and it'll fit. You don't have to take it out of the case to charge it. And then this is your micro USB connector um, to charge it. Uh, the reason I I would have I wouldn't have minded this um, here, just because I have the pogo connector to charge it, so that's fine with me. Um, but this little port here, it's still easily accessible, closing and opening. But I don't use it because, like I said, I have the um, Magnector Connector X here. So I'll go ahead and leave the review to that on the bottom just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. It's a really cool magnetic um, USB cable that it just attaches to this and then you don't have to worry about it. Um, then on the top, 3.5 millimeter jack and then the other mic cut out there. And I have a glass screen protector and as you can see there's still um, front facing protection so you don't have to worry about that. Um, on the back here... You can see their cruiser light branding in the middle, like all their newer cases. Um, circuit bug droid, and then this. Oh, it does have it. Doesn't didn't look like it did, but it has the their branding there on the side as well. Um, really nice, simple case. Really like it. Like I said, all the all the buttons are cut out. Um, first thing I've noticed, the power button's a little bit hard to press, just because it's. If you, I don't know if you can see it but like the button looks like it's under so I'm gonna go ahead and let them know about that let me zoom the button is like flush so you can't really access it so either the button has to be made a little bit wider or bigger but there is a little groove here if you can see it see right here uh, it dips down and then dips up so that might be it but first thing I've noticed it's hard to push the button like you have to dig your nail in to access it so that might be a downside um, it might not be a downside because this also has a tap to wake function so I'll show you guys what that is so if you have it enabled in the settings you double tap the screen and it'll um, open it so it might not be huge of a deal but some people might not use that feature or don't know it exists but personally um, I like the tap tap to wait but I'm gonna let you guys know ahead of time the button here is is um, flush with the other buttons so it's hard to press like if I do let me turn it off see it's kind of hard to press I have to search for it so if I go ahead and put my nail in it works but if I do it like normal like pushing like a normal button it's kind of hard um, so keep that in mind you guys I'll go ahead and let um, Joel from Clu Cruiser Light know um, that it's something to consider um, I don't know if he's already fixed it or if the people have told him about it but I'm gonna go ahead and let him know about that um, if you like the video consider giving it a thumbs up if you didn't like it give it a thumbs down if you know anybody with the Z3 um, the T-Mobile variant or the international variant, go ahead and give them the, the link to this to, to this uh, case review so they can t check it out, look at it. Um, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. It means a lot. Like I said earlier in the earlier video, I'm close to 200 um, YouTube subscribers, so that's really nice. Um, if you're already a subscriber, thanks for subscribing and keeping along with this long. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.